Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my makeup collection video. So I've never done a video like this and I've been waiting until my collection has got big enough and actually has got to the point where it's a little bit too big. So I thought this would be a fun video to film. I know I've been away for a minute because I've been doing grad school. But I'm back and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So obviously subscribe to my channel and comment something in the comment section below and let me know what you think. And yeah, keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna get started with all of the items that are on my desk. So I just have this little tray right here. And I think I got this from TJ Maxx. So this just has like some of the items where I don't really have places for them in my drawer. Mainly basically skincare. So I have like my Caudalie Grape Water, my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, Japanese Brush Cleaner, my Dermaclear Micro Water, which I love so, so much. Uh, the Ole Ula Henriksen Banana Eye Cream, the First A Beauty coconut water cream moisturizer my lash rack from lily lashes which is absolutely amazing if you need somewhere to put your lashes when they're drying this thing is like hands down the best and then i have my sephora velour well baramona color switch which i actually have two of those and then this is the anastasia dip brow pomade in dark brown but this is my um, extra one that I travel with because it's basically finished and of course some pharmacy honey butter lip balm which is amazing and that needs to go back in my purse and then I also have my pick right here and that's just because you know I got curly hair so we're just gonna move this here and then here are some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes so these are the ones that I really really like and I keep them up here just so they're easy access, you know, out of sight, out of mind. So I don't want to forget about these. And it's not just eyeshadow. There's also other things. So I have the NARS unfiltered. Oh my God, you can see me. Hey. The NARS unfiltered number one, what does this say? Palette. Cheek palette. So this is super pretty. I mentioned this in my best of 2018. And then, of course, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, which I've mentioned as well. Then, of course, the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette in, what does it say? Bronze Sands Edition. This is super pretty. I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of it quite yet, but I purchased it for Black Friday. Then also I have this Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions palette, which looks like this right here. It's super pretty. I did an eye look with that recently. And this I actually got from my friend who worked at MAC. This was from the Mariah Carey collection. It's the I'm That Chick You Like. And it's just like a quad. I just like to keep that up there. And then, of course, I've got some of the Juvia's Paste palette. So I got the Saharan. This is the number one. And then I purchased the number two. So I've really been liking the number one. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. It's hard to open stuff with one hand. You know what I'm saying? So that is this one. And you can see I've kind of played around with it a little bit. But I purchased it, I believe, in November. So I've only had it for a short amount of time. This is low-key like my little baby right here. This is the Tardiest Pro to go. And then trying to open that it just looks like this this i love when i do like a really like subtle natural well my version of natural look i like this these actually three shades for my bottom lash line and this one for my inner corner so that's been my baby and then anastasia beverly hills soft glam this one i kept in my kit my freelance kit for a while but then i took it out just because I haven't been freelancing as much since I've moved. And then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And this is my jam. Like jam, jam, jam. You can see because clearly this one is panned. Like I need a refill ASAP. I tried to look on the website and see if they did refills. They don't. Probably not yet. Hopefully in the soon, in the near future. So also I have the another palette from Juvia's Place. This is a Zulu palette. This was actually the first one that I purchased from them. 
And then, of course, I have my baby right here, the Modern Renaissance palette. And as you can see, it is beat up on the outside, not on the inside. But this is like hands down one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. So I definitely keep that up here. Then I have the Subculture palette which I have only played with that one color right there. Oh, and that yellow one too, it looks like. But this one, I wanted so bad and I got it in gratis at Sephora and I just never got a chance to play with it. So there's that. And then of course I have my Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. This is the first version, not the remastered, unfortunately. But as you can see, I still loved it, especially since I panned a shade which is pretty rare for me. Then I have my own personal Z palette. I know we don't talk about Z palettes, but my personal custom eyeshadow palette, which has like my MAC Makeup Geek and Anastasia shadows. This I still love, love, love. And then I have another palette, which is pretty new. This is the Be Perfect Carnival palette, which is super pretty. It just has like these really colorful shades, super pigmented, like amazing like this is like probably one of the um most one of the palettes i got that i've been the most excited about so that's that and then here is my mirror that i have don't mind me it's a little cold and then this i have this little glass container that has all of my beauty blender and beauty sponges in it there is some regular beauty blenders in here, the Real Techniques, the Morphe sponge, which I love, the Sephora one, which is the cake and bake sponge, which is really good. Some of them are clean, some of them are dirty, most of them are dirty actually. And then I have my brushes, and these containers are actually, um, what is that store called? Bath and Body Works Candles where I just burned it basically until the end and then depotted the rest of the wax out. So I turned them into brush holders and here are my brushes. Most of them are Morphe, Sigma. Hey, if you wanna save somebody on Sigma brushes, use my code BMARIE. Just plugging that in there. And then, oh, I have a few MAC brushes in here, some Makeup Forever brushes. And then of course I have my tweezers my little scissors to cut my lashes and then this bad boy which has been saving my life this is the tarte teest lash applicator which i love and then these are all of like my face brushes so i have some sephora brushes in here some morphe brushes an hourglass brush a couple of artist couture brushes some makeup forever brushes so these are just basically all of the brushes I use for me. And then here's a little, uh, 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 oh my God, why am I stuttering? Here's my acrylic holder. I just recently got this. Um, I've been filling it up, but it's not quite full yet. So it just has some of my favorite liquid lipsticks and glosses. So here are some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, liquid lipsticks here. And then I have two of the Huda Beauty Dimmy Mattes. Uh, liquid lipsticks that I really love like they're so pretty like super super cute I have my bite agave lip mask some more Anastasia beauty bakery liquid lip then I have um, some morphe glosses which I've actually been loving there's another one that's supposed to go here but it's actually my purse because I take it with me when I go out Urban Decay Lip Gloss. I think this is in the shade Back Talk. Yes, no. Yep, Back Talk. Then my Bobbi Brown Brightening Lip Gloss. You can tell I've been mixing this with other things. Don't get your applicator dirty or that will happen to you. The YSL Color Bomb right there. I got that in gratis when I worked at Sephora. The NARS Velvet Glide Lipstick which is kind of like a lip gloss, super, super pretty. And then, oh, this is this MAC lip gloss in Bittersweet. This is when they came out with the new packaging and new colors. This was my jam. I mean, it got a little, a little play. And then of course my Dior Lip Maximizer, which I've actually been really liking since I've been playing with it. 
before I wouldn't really wear it that often but I tried it on one time when I was at work and I love it so I had to keep it up front here so then I have right here I have the what is this Sol de Janeiro uh, glow duo I just recently purchased this it was on sale at sephora.com for 40 bucks so I got it so it comes with the bronzy one and the lighter one so I'm super excited about this I'll probably wear it when I go out and then of course I have my lipsticks right here so there's oh these are dusty sorry <laughs> excuse the dust um I don't really wear lipsticks too often I'm more of a liquid lipstick type of girl so here I have like my Givenchy lipsticks these are some of the NARS audacious Christian Dior Anastasia Sephora collection Bobbi Brown this is the fresh to make it forever more NARS lipsticks and then the most of these are MAC and then these are my custom lipsticks from the Bite Beauty uh, lip, we'll just call it a lip bar. Those, I did a video on that if you want to check that out. And then an Urban Decay lipstick, which is bomb. I will show you some of my favorites. So this one is Fresh Brew. Boy, this one is my baby. None of my lipsticks look like this one. Like this one, I wear all of the time like this is probably the only lipstick in this entire collection that i wear like frequently so that's that i have what other colors yash what is this men love mystery um ho this one was from rihanna's collection a while ago oh and i have riri boy still i'm terrible but they're so pretty so here is Ho, and this one is just super gorgeous. Like, how could I get rid of it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still pretty. And then Riri Boy is this one right here. Super gorgeous. You can still see, like, the Rihanna signature in the packaging. This was literally, like, one of the best MAC collections that came out, in my personal opinion. All right, but now that we've got done with that, we'll go to these drawers right here, which is why I had to buy this acrylic lip holder because I filled them up quickly. So this is like my gloss drawer. So I have like a Clinique gloss, my Fenty gloss bomb, some butter glosses, matte gloss, and then some Huda lipsticks. And then of course my Laura Mercier Extreme Matte Lip Crayon, which is bomb.com. Clearly, I like Cavern D liquid lipsticks, so I have, I bought a couple of the lip, the mini lip sets, so I have those here, and then here's my full size, uh, Kat Von D, and if you're wondering what my favorite is, it is definitely this guy right here, Lolita, this is actually my second one, so that is Bay. then I have two of the Makeup Forever liquid lipsticks here, and then of course the YSL Tattooage which is bomb. I mentioned that also in my best makeup products of 2018. So here I have my Stila. These hands down one of my favorite lipstick, liquid lipstick formulas right here. And these are actually all of my favorite shades except for this one I don't really wear too often. Um, Aria is hands down like this is like bay right here. I haven't finished it quite yet. This is still the old packaging as you can see compared to the other ones. And then these are my Dior liquid lipsticks here. This one is my favorite and this one is 614. And this one is a really pretty matte for me. I mean no, a really pretty nude, my bad. And then here I have a couple of the Kylie liquid lips. I have some more of these somewhere. I just can't find them. But this is Candy K, Candy K, and Coco K. And then I think I have Dolce somewhere hiding around. But I also did a lip swatch video on those. So speaking of lip swatch videos, so I did lip swatches on these Sephora Collection Liquid Lips when they came out. And these are the ones that I kept and I returned some of the other ones. And then here I have two of my Fenty lipsticks in one of the boys and Thick. 
yeah so this is one of the new ones and I'm liking it so far and then here I have some of the Stila Liquid Lips the mini sizes because like I said those are my favorite then I have some Lime Crime Liquid Lips here some of these I got on sale so that's why I have some of these weird colors that I haven't worn but these colors right here are like my usuals or they were my usuals when I used to wear them more frequently then I have uh, the Jeffree Star Liquid Lip. This is only one of them. I have Androgyny somewhere hiding. And then this one is Scorpio. And there we go. Scorpio. And that one's like super pretty. I like the formula of those. And then I have this Smashbox Liquid Lipstick in Stay Neutral. Which actually I completely forgot I had this color. Because I have another one that dried out. But it was like a pinky color. Then here is my mini Fenty lipstick in Griselda that I got as a 100 point perk. That's gorgeous. Then here are some of the NARS, uh, the baby uh, power matte liquid lipsticks in American Woman and Star Woman. These are super pretty. I got, I believe both of these were on 100 point perks at Sephora and I actually like them because I keep them in my purse. And then here is a full size in London Calling and this one's like more of like a purpley one and that one's like super pretty so that's the end of those so now we're going to go ahead and go into the drawers and I'm just going to sit down because I've been staying there for a minute so here's my top drawer and I know it looks like a hot mess because it is but this is where I keep like all of my foundations and my primers when I originally organized this drawer it was like foundations on one side primers on the other it's kind of still like that but not really so here i have some of my favorite foundations the studio skin tintai doll becca Evermatte, and then these i'm still kind of playing around with but i like these for pictures and then for primers i have this primerizer which is pretty decent bosha pore charcoal and then some other stuff hiding in here. And then I have a couple of the Anastasia Stick Foundations, a Tarte one, another Becca foundation, and then some other ones hiding up in here. And then for my next drawer is all of my concealers, blushes, and highlighters, and mascaras, and eyeliners. So here are all of like my concealers, eyeshadow primers. As you can see, I have like three tart shape tapes um these anastasia look anastasia liquid glows i have two of those oh the p louise base this one i bought recently this is number two and then i have number three right here which i've been using and loving here's laura mercier nars eyebrow pomade and my huda beauty concealer that i mentioned in my recent videos here I have like my highlighters and blushes. So these three right here are Becca blushes. These are one of my favorite blushes actually. Like they're super pigmented, stay on a long time. And believe it or not, I've had this for probably like two or three years and I have not made a dent in it. Then I have some highlighters. These were from a limited edition matte collection and they end up bringing these back and this is oh darling i also did a video on that collection here are oh this one i bought oh crap this one i bought because my favorite instagrammer this is her um highlighter drea bentha vega and hold on while i attempt to open it oh yeah so this is what that looks like. It's super pretty. I haven't worn it too, too much just yet, but that was like a recent purchase. And then I have two of the Fenty highlighters here. This is one of the newer ones in Sandcastle and Minted Mojito. And then of course my tried and true Me Money Hustler Baby. And then here I have, ooh, the Artist Couture, um, what are these? The Artist Couture Diamond Lux Luminizers. This one is my favorite right here, Honey Drip. It's like so gorgeous. 
And then I have Glow Money right behind that one. If I could just get that in there. Then I have a Make a Forever. This is like a customized one. Palette. It has like a blush and a highlighter in it. I was using the highlighter, but I have a ton of highlighters, so it's hard to really keep up and remember what I have. This is, oh yeah, this one is so pretty. This is the Lancome Dual Finish in Sparkling Peach. And this one is so pretty and so smooth. Like, it's bomb. So there's that one. And then... Oh, I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio that I keep there. And then here are some other highlighters. And this is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Rosé. And then I also have it in Conceited, which is my favorite. I have this Ofra highlighter in Blind the Haters that I love, love, love. This is amazing. The Makeup Revolution Pearl Lights in Savannah Nights. This one is nice. Similar to the Artist Couture, but different shades. Super pretty. This is like a oldie, but a goodie. This is like still one of my favorite blushes. This is the Bad Girl Gone Good from that MAC collection I was telling y'all about. That Rihanna did. And I've had this for years. Like years. And I have not panned it like at all. And I still wear it, so wild then i have my amrezy highlighter had to support and then my mac nutcracker collection which has the blush and highlight it has whisper of guilt in there whisper of guilt and then obviously i've loved that blush and then i have my anastasia beverly hills bronzer and cappuccino along with oh crap Oops, along with my Stila Shimmer and Glows, which are here. And then I dropped something, so excuse me. Cool. And then, of course, here are all of like my mascaras. Nothing super special in here, just mascara. And then I have these Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Drops, which I love to use before I apply my highlighter. That's a trick I learned from Amanda Ensing, and it works amazing, especially if you want your highlight to glow, glow, glow. Here I have like my uh, eyeliners and some eyeshadow, my favorite lash glue, which is the House of Lashes lash glue. And oh, I think there's some duo in here as well. So that's that. And then this is my last drawer. And as you can see, I have been busy. Before this drawer did not have that many lashes, just some Ardell's. But clearly I've fallen in love with Lily lashes because that's mostly what I have in here. Here's a pair here. What are these babies? Mykonos, which are super pretty. And then these I've worn, I think these are Jane or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. These are some of the new ones she came out with, the uh, premium synthetic ones. Oh, these are the limited edition uh, pair. And these are super gorgeous, like so pretty. And then I think these are Miami. Yep, and I have a couple other pairs of these, but those are hands down my favorite. And then in the back, there's some House of Lashes. And then I think a pair of MAC. And then this is just my skincare drawer. So this is the top skincare drawer. So these are products that I really want to try or use. This I won when I worked at Sephora at like a Lancome event. And I still haven't used it because I'm waiting for a special occasion. So I have my Lala Whipped Cream that I got from one of my coworkers when we traded. This Peter Thomas Roth uh, Mud Mask. This Mirror Ad. Ooh, water gel moisturizer, which is super good. My bum bum cream, which I'm literally almost out of. Like, this is, like, basically empty. And, ooh, my peaky bar. Man, this is my jam. Like, I went through, like, three or four of these, like, the full size. Like, the full size. 
so ooh, and then this is my jam too i'm trying not to use it because it's like 115 dollars but this is the algenist uh liquid collagen man that stuff is bomb.com and then this is actually my third one of these this is the lancome honey cleanser this is so so good it just literally melts your makeup off and then it has your skin like looking super pretty afterwards it's like bomb and then of course the tartan knockout tingling treatment which i've only tried once and i didn't really like it but i'm gonna give it another go and then here is just my bottom skincare drawer so these are products that i'm semi interested in and we'll probably get around to at some point nothing really super special in here i have my eradicate cleanser which is actually pretty good i've almost finished that spot treatment which that's probably already dead i don't even know why that's in there moisturizer eye cream and yeah so that's that drawer so we finished this one now the last one and excuse my creaky creaky chair so we have this drawer right here which has all of my setting sprays and of course my favorite the all nighter which i have another one of and i have another one actually and then here are some of my setting powders and face powders as you can see i have three of the max studio fix powders because those are bay and then i have a couple of the memorized skin finish powders in dark deepest and dark tan Cover Effects, Sasha Buttercup, which is, oh, my hand is ashy, I'm sorry. Uh, Makeup Forever Powder, a little bit of the Kat Von D, which you can find, um, I believe, on Sora Four's website for like 15 bucks. So there's those, and then we're getting close to being done, you guys. So this is like one of uh, my favorite drawers. So this has like all of the glitters and pigments right here. Obviously the best glitter glue, Too Faced. My favorite, when NYX had these little baby sets, I got those. And then these are my lip liners. And as you can see, my favorite ones are like little tiny nubs. This is the Huda Beauty Spice Girl. And this is from that Rihanna collection I told y'all it was the best collection that came out. I have some NYX uh, lip liners in here, a couple of MAC ones, the Leah one, some Huda Beauty ones. Then this is where I keep like extra lip products. So I have these two liquid lips that came in a set with a liner and tons of NARS lip pencils. These are just pens that I got when I used to work at Sephora that I like to collect. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them quite yet. These are my little uh, roller balls and travel size fragrances. So I have some Nikki in here, Nikki Minaj, Prada Candy. This one is, oh, Elizabeth and James Bourbon. I think this is Tainted Love by oh, Tokyo Milk, which I don't even think Sephora carries. Yep, so these are my fragrances, extra lip products, glitters, pigments, and lip liners. So we are almost done. Hopefully my camera does not overheat. So here are like extra makeup things that I have. So this is mainly extra palettes. So like the Jaclyn Hill palette. I have, oh, this Urban Decay Ultimate Basics, which hasn't actually even been used. This Natural Love palette that I might give away because that's still brand new. This Smashbox palette and a blaze which is super pretty if i could open it super pretty and then of course this palette by black radiance i'm just keeping that in there just as a little backup oh my god i forgot i had this palette the urban decay spectrum palette wow oh this is just an empty box for that lipstick i purchased oh my becca blush palette this is Bay because it has Snapdragon in it. And Snapdragon is like one of my favorite Becca blushes. Then, of course, an oldie but a goodie. Master palette by Mario. The Anastasia collab. And you can see this baby. It has a little bit of wear and tear. And then, of course, some of these Alcone beauty sponges. And then this boy, which I just bought like a month or so ago. Well, actually now it would be considered two months ago. 
And this is the Beauty Blender Sweet Indulgence Beauty Blender set. It comes with four beauty blenders and four soaps. So I had to get that. And then of course the Sweet Peach Palette. And then we are almost done, which is good because I'm running out of space on this memory card. So these are like really all of my extra lip products that I have. So this is like a lip balm here. This is Givenchy, super pretty. Let's see if I can open it. Oh God, this is so hard. So it's just like, a, oh, there we go. A really pretty like pinky uh, lip balm that I've actually used quite a few times. Then I have like some glosses, some NARS glosses, um, some Dior in here, some Lancome, Bare Minerals, Clinique Chubby Sticks, YSL Glossy Stain, just some like lip products that I don't really have places for on my little stand. Then here I have a couple like random products. So there's like Amber Lights, a Sigma Shadow, save some money on Sigma with my code BMARIE, just plugging that in again. Um, the Makeup Forever Aqua XL, and then the Stila. This is the glitter, what is this? The, hold on, do, 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 do. Oh, the glitter and glow. So this is the highlighter actually. So this isn't the one for the eye. And of course my camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. And Monarch. And this is for the face. And that I just feel like isn't flattering for my skin tone. So that's why it's in here. And then I have the Cover Effects Shimmer Veil. And this is supposed to go on the eye. I haven't tried this quite yet, but I plan on it sometime. Then I have an extra lip product that was a birthday gift, concealer, another Becca palette, and then I have the Master Chrome highlighter in here, another Anastasia highlighter and Peach Nectar, and then like this lip mask that I haven't tried yet, which looks really interesting from the bottom. Okay, and then I have my Tristique um, lip pencils in this little case that I got as a 100 point perk and I actually did a lip swatch video on that not sure if it's uploaded yet so those are just some of the lip crayons that I have from Tristique and then this is like a random spot too so this has like these are eyelash primers so this is like the they're real it's like a primer and it's brown this Smashbox one, a mini Tarte one, some of those little Tarte highlights. Man, though, these things will last you forever. Like, you don't even need to buy the full size. And then the last drawer da, 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 is just literally like a hodgepodge of like <laughs> everything. So here is like, I have some makeup bags. These are like extra ones. I have like a drawer um, full of them. Oh, my Beauty Blender foundation, my all-nighter. I just bought the duo, so one is in this drawer up here, and the other one is down there, so when I'm ready to use that. And then these are some Lily Lashes. Again, the new premium silk ones, or premium synthetics that I plan on doing in a giveaway. And this is like, some of this is giveaway stuff that I plan on doing in the very, very near future. And the rest of this is like samples and then of course my back to Mac stuff right there. And that is it for my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.